Legend has it chocolate chip cookies were invented in 1930 by an American innkeeper who ran out of baker's chocolate. She improvised by breaking a semi-sweet chocolate bar into small pieces. Instead of melting, the chocolate merely softened, dotting the cookie with chocolate chips. They look homemade, and they taste homemade, but this home is a factory. Each ingredient goes into an industrial-sized mixer, starting with edible detergent to help clean the machinery during the cookie-making process. Then, brown sugar is added, followed by an industrial-sized cube of butter. For other types of cookies, industrial-sized spheres or pyramids of butter may be used for different consistencies. A really big mixing thing pulverizes the ingredients thoroughly for as long as it takes to pulverize them. Then it's time for the secret ingredient, chocolate chips. Next, flour. Followed by ground flours. And then powdered flours from the ground. The final ingredients are beaten whole eggs and vanilla beans harvested in Madagascar, New Jersey. Mixing resumes until the cookie dough begins to look like cookie dough. The factory is secretive about recipe specifics, but if you're curious, they're exactly the same ingredients you'd find in a tube of Pillsbury cookie dough, except with more natural flavor. After scooping up a handful to munch on, workers transfer the cookie dough to a machine called a former. It's called this because it not only forms the cookie dough, but it formerly used to be a machine designed to crush baby chicks during poultry production. The machine creates the cutest little dough rounds, which are flash frozen in a freeze tunnel for distribution to hotels and restaurants. This allows them to operate under a technicality to claim they serve fresh baked cookies, even though the businesses are too lazy, cheap, and deceitful to do any of the baking themselves. The freeze tunnel also coats the dough in an extra ingredient to make them more addictive, if you know what I mean. After exiting the freeze tunnel, each and every cookie passes onto the next conveyor belt. Please ignore the two cookies that have fallen out of line on the bottom of your screen. They will be punished for insubordination once filming ends. The packaging section is entirely automated, and also really boring to watch, so we'll be skipping over it. The cookies are slam-packed onto an automatic scale. Once the scale measures the appropriate portion of cookies for the average American, they fall down a chute similar to an Orlando Water Park mega slide. The next station seals and labels the boxes, which are put away by a factory worker. We have cropped his identity out of frame because he is currently in the Witness Protection Program. We here at How It's Made wish you luck, Robert Savino. This company also sells cookies online as gifts. Nothing says you're thinking of someone like dropping cookies at their doorstep that have gone completely stale because of the inability for the post office to deliver something on time. Workers lay out the cookie dough rounds while wishing they were doing absolutely anything else. As the cookie dough rounds bake, they melt slightly and double in diameter. Now for bonus points, can anyone tell me the new circumference of the cookies? The cookies remain in the oven for 7 degrees at 300 minutes Fahrenheit. The cookies rotate while baking to remind you how badly you want some cookies right now. Some of the batch go to the quality control tester, who conducts a series of arduous tests to determine that these are, in fact, chocolate chip cookies. In the cookie gift area, workers line a decorative tin with decorative plastic and line the plastic with non-decorative cookies. All of these steps are done to ensure that this isn't just a factory, but is in fact, a home. And that's how to give the gift of homemade chocolate chip- GET THOSE BROWNIES OUT OF HERE, GOD DAMN IT!
And that's how to give the gift of homemade chocolate chip cookies without ever setting foot in the kitchen.